Which side should I be? Uh, wait, that feels awkward. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> All right. This yes. is my domain. <laughs> Welcome back. Hello, guys. Welcome to CD Cuisine. It's been a little while since we've both shared the spotlight. That's true. On CD Cuisine. I've been hogging it. Today, we are going to make popovers, except we're using a Yorkshire pudding recipe because that's what I like. It's going to be fun. We've got <laughs> muffin tins that they'll pop. Not Out even popover tins. We're just, we're winging it. We just want tiny Yorkshire pudding. Yes. What do we do to get started? First, we grab our recipe. Recipe. Beautiful recipe. You're licking my hand. Let's start with the batter. Oh no, wait, let's start with the oven. <laughs> uh, if I can figure this finagled thing out. Yeah, let's just do bake. And I think 350 is actually what we want. All right, so while the oven is preheating, we are going to make... We need five eggs, one and a quarter cup of milk, the same amount of flour, and a fourth cup of butter, <laughs> and salt. Let's um, crack our eggs in here. Yeah. I don't know how much we're gonna need butter, but I think it's best to just butter more than less. Okay. We're gonna figure this out. Fun fact, we studied abroad in York and had Yorkshire pudding in York. So good. Yeah, we wanted to kind of replicate that British Yorkshire pudding experience. So we're gonna have like mashed potatoes and peas and carrots and it's just gonna be good. Yes. So we've got five eggs ready to be added to the blender. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Well done. Let's add them to the blender. Delightful. Next, one and a quarter cup of milk. So right now, I am just kind of rubbing the butter into these little tins. One and a quarter cup of milk. Everything will go in there. Next, we want a quarter cup of flour. Flour. Did I say a quarter cup or one and a quarter cup? It's one and a quarter cup of flour. <laughs> Let's use an ice cream scoop. Do you think I should? butter the second pan or wait and see if we need it. Okay. I'd wait. Alright. We this, can always butter it off camera. This is a mess. Look. One cup of flour. You need salt stuff? Yes. I got it. We want half a teaspoon of salt. And a quarter cup of flour. And salt. <laughs> <laughs> Super simple. All right, do we still need butter in there? This is another deviation from the original recipe. Because for the Yorkshire pudding, you'd actually melt it in the oven and then take it out and then pour it excess in the batter and put We're just gonna put an arbitrary amount of butter in. <laughs> okay. What's the worst that can happen? It could all blow up. That'd be good YouTube content. <laughs> you guys love suffering, don't you? <laughs> I'm gonna just... Hmm. I think it... I think this is fine. <laughs> just till it's soft. Let's go. Pop on the lid. Make sure you plug it in. <laughs> and we're gonna ooh, stir or mix or pulse or not chop. Let's do mix. 
on. <laughs> Mix. It smells very um, mechanic. <laughs> Probably hasn't been used in a while, honestly. <laughs> After the rest I had to clean off it, I guess not, huh? Spatula City! <gasps> Plush, plush, plush. Yep. Okay, just a short burst or two. And I'm gonna call it there, because like I said, you don't want to overblend it. See, with the recipe, you put the butter in the oven and let it get all brown and like salty, crispy, and then it becomes like a, a nice little crust on the pudding. So I guess we can try and pop this into the oven for a little bit and then take it out and put the batter in it. Okay. Well, it like melted instantly. So we're just gonna wait till it gets a nice brown. It's bubbling. You wanna make sure it doesn't burn, obviously. It's oven mitt ready. <laughs> Smells like butter. Mm. Okay, you know, it looks brownish. Look, a little smoky in there. Yeah, got some nice brown butter in there. Okay, what do you think? Halfway full? Sure, we can try that. Oh boy, I hope this works. What would you say was your favorite food in New York? It's been a while. It has been a while. I mean, Yorkshire pudding was good. It really was. There was gelato and crepes and Dutch pancakes. Oh, those were really good too. Yeah. Like if you got the apple cinnamon Dutch pancakes, I think that was my favorite breakfast food. <laughs> okay, so we've just got like enough excess to not really warrant another pan, I think. But let's just say worst case scenario, we really have popovers. Okay. <laughs> what can go wrong? This is certainly more than halfway full. You know, I guess if they don't rise as much as we're expecting, then we'll just have nice muffins. Yorkshire pudding muffins. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's good enough for me. We're gonna put it in the oven. Oh, how long should we cook this? Let's just do what the recipe says and start with 20 minutes. York popover. Maybe it should be a little more centered. Okay. Alexa. Start the timer for 15 minutes. 15 minutes, starting now. She's loud. Okay, well, we will get back to you when things get exciting. <laughs> <laughs> and in the meantime, I'll clean. Cut. Ooh la la, something's happening. Yes, they're popping over. We are working on mashed potatoes and peas and carrots. Fantastic. So excited. Looks like it worked. Yeah. So why don't we grab them out of the oven, huh? Look oh, at man. that. They're fun. Quite puffy. I'm sure they're gonna taste fun. So we're gonna fix our plates and then try them and then 
Yeah. <laughs> okay. This one and this one. <laughs> and now I got these mashed potatoes, which is real simple Yukon gold potatoes with butter and milk. Some simple peas and carrots. Da 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 da. This guy. Mm -hmm. And this guy. Ooh la la. Potatoes. Mm -hmm. That mash. And then. Okay. Very exciting. Alright, so at this point our microphone died, so we're gonna have to finish it off with a voiceover. Yep. Anyways, we got our plates and salt and peppered them. Well, I salted and peppered, she just salted. Just salt. We tried it and it tasted pretty much exactly like Yorkshire pudding. Yeah, mini Yorkshire pudding. It's super easy to make. It only took us about an hour in total. Even if you don't have a blender, you can probably just mix it um, with a hand mixer or a very vigorous uh, hand. And the pudding was very thick but fluffy as well, so it was just very pleasant. We encourage that you make it. Yeah, if you're stuck in quarantine or just need an easy dinner, this is one easy dinner to make. So thanks for joining us guys and we'll see you next week. Yep, see you next week. Bye! Bye bye!